All right, so you're about to buy a house, you put in an offer, you got it accepted, and you got that lovely home inspection condition in there. Well, now's the time for the home inspection. Let's find out what a home inspection is actually for, and definitely not for. So my name is Chris Cipriani with the Cipriani team at Remax Escarpment. I would love for you guys to actually like this video, hit the bell to get notified, maybe follow our page as well. That'd be awesome. There's a few things, obviously, some are obvious, some aren't so obvious, but what a home inspection is actually for. Number one, of course, obviously your structural issues, foundation issues, those can be real costly if discovered after you close your home. So you wanna take a closer look, make sure there's no big issues with this property. The other thing that it's definitely for is water. Obviously water can be pretty obvious if you see some staining and things like that, but how about behind the walls? You got a finished basement, how are you gonna know if there ever was water damage or if there's possibly some moisture that you're just not seeing? Well, home inspectors, and a lot of the good ones will actually have a moisture detector. They can sense the walls, they can do a quick scan and see, hey, there's some moisture here where there definitely shouldn't be moisture. And guess what? If you still buy the home and there's these major issues, well, that's a costly repair, right? A home inspection is maybe $500. Some are a little bit cheaper, some are a little bit more, depending on where you are, uh, that can save you a lot. The other thing home inspections are for is determining, should I even put an offer in on the home? There are some sellers and seller agents that'll actually allow you to bring a home inspector in to look at the home and be comfortable with it before you submit an offer. This is awesome if there's multiple offers, but you still don't wanna get stuck with costly repairs, you can probably sneak a home inspector in. Well, not sneak, please disclose it to the actual seller and their agent, but you can get it in there. That way you have a lot more confidence with that offer. The other thing that home inspections are great for is something so simple as just testing that everything actually works. When you're buying the house, chances are the fridge, stove, washer, dryer, that's all gonna stay. So actually testing that it works, well, hey, it just might save you $5,000 for getting new appliances, right? Well, how about that bathroom fan? Does it actually vent out into something or is it just shooting into the attic that's gonna cause moisture? Inspectors will actually test that with their most expensive tool, which is a piece of toilet paper right up on that fan to make sure it's actually sucking. What a home inspection isn't. Okay, a home inspection is there for home ownership purposes. If you have an issue with every little home ownership item that's gonna come up, home ownership might not actually be for you. If you're upset that one light bulb is not working and you're requesting a seller to knock money off to change that, a little bit ridiculous, not gonna happen. The other thing, if something wasn't built up to code, but when it was built, it was built in 1920s, you have to know you're buying an older home. You can't cause issues because the home inspector says, yeah, this is not up to code anymore. It wasn't built up to code, it never was. So you have to kind of be understanding, there's a fine line, there's a balance between what is an issue that I can deal with, what is a legal issue that I can't deal with, obviously there's some things that aren't legal uh, anymore, and what's some stuff that I just have to take as is, and if I want this house, there might be certain things I gotta fix. Going back to maybe the water issue, there is times when you might buy or consider buying an old turn of the century home with the stone foundations. Those foundations pretty much sweat. Some of them even leak, but a lot of times they, they build up moisture. That's a costly repair, but most people that own those homes understand that. They're never gonna really fully get that water issue gone, so they work around it. They keep those walls exposed and they kind of decorate around it or finish around it so there's never any major issues. So if you're bringing a home inspector in and saying, well, I don't like that that wall sweats and I want 25,000 off the purchase price, of an 1890s home, you're not being reasonable either. So that's something that a home inspection is really not for. It's discovering the problems, and if there's anything major, you can renegotiate, but some problems that are crystal clear already built into the price, that's not what a home inspection's for, right? The other thing a home inspection is not for is, well, furnace, AC, roof. Listen, you wanna get those inspected, but if the seller's being up front and saying, this furnace is from 1973, you understand that, you put in your offer, knowing that the furnace was from 1973, which that, those will probably never die compared to the new ones. And then you have your home inspector look at it and he says, yeah, it's old. And then you still try and go back and negotiate 10, 15,000 off or 5,000 to pay for your new furnace or AC. 
you're not kind of doing things in good faith. The home inspection is to find major issues that aren't oh, that you're not aware of to begin with. So if you guys find this helpful, feel free to subscribe to our channel. We would love that. If AI ever takes over my job, at least I can fall back on YouTube. So I need those subscriptions. Please subscribe.